Buddy, you might be getting ready to see the movie Oppenheimer this weekend. It's out now. It's about how the atomic bomb was developed and how much of it was done here in East Tennessee, specifically Oak Ridge, their involvement in the Manhattan Project. Our John Pierceos tells us most people doing the research in Oak Ridge on making the bombs had no idea what they were doing that research for. The United States started the Manhattan Project in 1942. The goal? to develop an atomic bomb faster than Nazi Germany. The government opened four sites in Oak Ridge to work on the project. Y-12, K-25, S-50, and the graphite reactor, which later became Oak Ridge National Lab. Oak Ridge was a secret city. It was guarded. You needed you know, badge to get in and out. Oak Ridge Labs Communications Director David Kime says the area expanded quickly with about 22,000 people working at Y-12 and about 1,500 working at the graphite reactor. The original graphite reactor is still on display inside Oak Ridge Lab. It's a big grid with graphite in it. Scientists would put uranium inside the reactor to create plutonium. It proved that you could create plutonium through a reactor. Once demonstrated, they produced it at scale for the bomb out at the Hanford Works in Washington. It was important work being done at the graphite reactor, but it was kept quiet. Keim says very few people knew what it was being used for. The uh, authorized, approved access to that information was exceedingly small. Keim says the work was compartmentalized. Everyone had a small job to do at the graphite reactor, and it was kept quiet. You weren't allowed to say the word uranium. If you did, you were asked to leave. Kime says Y-12 supplied the uranium, the site in Hanford, Washington provided the plutonium, and the site at Los Alamos, New Mexico, where Oppenheimer worked, built the bombs. So it was really an amazing story of the scientific community and academia and the government and the military and private industry all coming together to do something that couldn't have been done anywhere else in the world. Kime says the government spent $2 billion on the Manhattan Project money that resulted in the first nuclear weapons used in the history of war. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Tomorrow, the aftermath of dropping these bombs and some of the important scientific discoveries that stemmed from the Manhattan Project here in East Tennessee.